Okay, I've got a project here at home to fix my shelf. It's starting to sag at the one end and it's come a bit loose. So I'm going to show you some of the tools that I'm going to use today. I'm taking the Jorgensen Easy Hole Clamp and turning it into a spreader because I need an extra hand of help today. And uh, so I've placed this block here. Um, so that supports my, uh, my clamp. And now I can just pump it and get it on that block and nicely on the shelf and pump it up. And you see how that gap up here is now reducing. Okay, so now I can accurately put in this little block that's uh, going to keep it up on this end here. So I've already pre-drilled it and put my little screw in. Uh, so I need to get that screw into the wall. Let me mark it quickly. Uh, there we go. We've got a little mark. Okay. So in my drill today, I'm using an Alpen Profi Baton with a hex shank. To drill the hole. And uh, I've put my uh, cordless drill onto hammer action. And let me find the hole again, or my mark, so I don't get it in the right spot. Okay, and so I Sure, that drill's pretty fast, that Alpen drill bit. And uh, the other thing I've chosen here is a little roll plug, a four all plug. This I know is going to work in the wall because as the name says, for all, it is for concrete, it's for brick, you can even use it in timber cladding, you can use it in drywalling, it's for all basically as the name says. So I know that's going to give me a good hold, so I'll just pop it in like that, get it seated nicely and then I'm going to take my little impact driver and uh, Match it up there. There we go. And I'll be able to tighten it up. Oh, if I go, if I turn the drill in the right direction, it'll go in. There we go. I've got it on my shelf. is now supported again. And uh, I've taken out the, the support. And I've got some strength again.